for Gil here. Just went to my local fish store and purchased a bunch of uh, frags, mostly Zoes and a couple SPSs. Uh, what I'm going to do is temperature acclimate all these guys and then uh, I'll do a coral dip using the Revive Coral Cleaner here. Um, purchased uh, some Zoes here, SPS here, another piece of Zoes, Montipora. Orzos, a pink virgin nest, and then I have a pistol shrimp here, Randall's pistol shrimp that I'll be pairing up with my yellow watchman goby when it arrives. So I'm going to go ahead and put these guys in the water and get them uh, acclimated to the temperature and then we'll do the coral dip. Alright, here's my corals being temperature acclimated to the temperature of my water. I shut off the lights just because I don't want to add any more stress to these guys. Especially if you're getting these guys shipped to you, you have to remember they've been in a dark box for a couple of days. So you want to open up that box in a dimly lit room and then when you do the temperature acclimation, it's probably a good idea to shut off your lights so that uh, you reduce the amount of stress of your livestock. I'm not going to drip acclimate these guys because they're corals. Um, so I'm just going to temperature acclimate them and then we'll go ahead and do the coral dip. I've removed every coral from its individually packaged bag, dumped out the store's water, filled up this bucket with a quarter gallon of water from my display tank and placed all the corals inside of it. What you'll need for your dip is a bucket, turkey baster, and whatever coral cleaner you're going to use. In my case I'm using a Revive. So I'll go ahead and measure out the proper amount of revive I need for a quarter gallon of water which should be about seven and a half millimeters. First thing we want to do is go ahead and shake up the coral cleaner. I have a syringe that measures out by milliliters. I want seven and a half milliliters since I have a quarter of a gallon of water. And this stuff smells just like pine salt. Just to give you guys a idea. About five millimeters there. And then two and a half. Then what we'll do is we'll stir it up. And we'll come back in five minutes and then we'll use a turkey baster to uh, force out water. And now we're going to use a turkey baster and fill it with water, grab one of your corals and just uh, force water through it. This will ensure getting any hitchhikers off that might be underneath, especially like the Zoes. Underneath the rock as well. And I could already see little particles floating around in there coming off of the, uh, the corals. Monipora, you want to get underneath it. decided before we put them in the tank that I was going to take them out of the medicated water and just kind of give them a little rinse in some clean display tank water and uh, from here then I'll go ahead and put them into the display tank. Alright so the frags have been dipped and rinsed and are now in the tank. I wait a little while for the frags to get used to the water parameters and the light. Um, the light right now these are the Vega uh, Aqua Illumination Vegas and they're on acclimation mode so they're running 40 percent below the intensity they would normally be running 
and they'll be running like that for about a week and a half each day they'll increase a little bit intensity at a time just to acclimate these new corals so that they don't get uh, overly stressed with the light this is the placement I put them in pretty much put all the zoos on one rock right here they've opened up they look pretty nice hopefully they'll uh, keep growing and fill up the whole rock area there and then I placed the pink bird's nest in the back there sorry about this camera but it's back there and then Montepora is right here and then an SPS up there I forgot the name of it and those are on plugs obviously um, within time the coralline will grow on the rock and on that plug and you won't even see it but one question I did have is this Acropora here I wanted to see what you guys thought of me putting up in the uh, corner of the tank over there uh, basically gluing the sides of the Acropora to the sides of the glass and uh, letting it grow like in here and outwards uh, outwards uh, this way so let me know what your thoughts are on that otherwise uh, this will conclude the video I'll keep you guys updated with any new additions I make thanks for watching